Jonah Biel, Chargers Truther, coming to you after our Week 3 win over the Minnesota Vikings, 28-24, to to get us our first win of the season, moving us to 1-2, just a monumental game. We were like a fish out of water, that's how bad we needed this win. Um, came down to the last freaking play, you know, Minnesota Vikings, hats off to them, they're a very good team, they're a lot better than their record. Uh, this was kind of like the loser bowl, the loser bowl, it's kind of what I called it, you know, Minnesota Vikings dropping down to 0-3, that's a very deep hole to climb out of. Um, but, you know, thankfully we got this win thanks to Justin Herbert and the pass offense mainly. Our defense, you know, played very well as well. Um, but yeah, just awesome, monumental win to get our game, our season back on track. So thankfully I don't have to drink another bad beer. Here I'm drinking a Einstock, you know, a Viking beer. It's a uh, Icelandic toasted porter. Cheers, should be good. Yeah, that's that's nice. Feels good to win. Thank you, thank you, Vikings. No disrespect. I think you're a very good team. Um, Y'all deserve a better record. But you know, all right. Let's get to this. Uh, these stats right off the bat. Justin Herbert, 40 for 47, 405 yards, three touchdowns. Just a legendary game. That's his first 400-yard uh, game. Just incredible. Dude completely put the team on his back along with Keenan Allen, who also threw a touchdown. Keenan Allen, four, one for 149 yards. Uh, touchdown pass to Mike Williams. Awesome play, as I'll get to in the highlights uh, in the little you know film review. But my main concern is the rush offense of you know the Chargers. Yes, we won. We barely won. But our rush offense was freaking atrocious. Look at this. Josh Kelly, 11 carries for 12 yards, a 1.1 average. Yeah. Yeah, you heard me right. I said 1.1 average. Uh, I don't care if we're playing the Avengers. Uh, we got to do better than that for sure. Uh, the team rushed for 30 yards on 15 carries, 2.0 average, just not good enough at all. Um, looking at the receiving, Keenan Allen, 18 catches for 215 yards. It was a record-breaking day for Keenan, maybe his best game ever, you know, as a professional for us um, over this entire, like, 10 years that he's been playing for us. Awesome, awesome game by this pass offense. Cannot say enough. Um, Kirk Cousins, 32 for 50, 367 yards, three touchdowns and interception. Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback, um, but Justin Herbert is just legendary. Justin Herbert is just better. Um, but if you look at the Minnesota rush offense, Alexander Madison, 20 rushes, 93 yards, 4.7 average. Um, that's what a real rush offense looks like. They ran it 24 times, 130 yards, 5.4 average. That's great. They ran it for like four times more yardage and over double the yards per carry. Um, we need to get a more balanced offense or we're going to be struggling. We sh if we had a rush offense, we would have won this game more assuringly. Um, it just is what it is, guys. I'd really like to get better at that because it's going to help us not have to struggle so much. All right, moving to these highlights right here. Uh, first one, Justin Herbert, third and seven in the first quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. He's going to be looking up top for Keenan Allen. Just a gorgeous throw. If you look at that, he just threw it right over the dude's fingertips into that little window, into the bucket. Um, all I'm showing there is just a great throw. Great throw. You know, the Vikings are on the goal line. Uh, tie game, third down. So what you see here at the bottom of the screen is Madison going up one-on-one, -on -one, man, uh, man, man coverage against... Uh, Kenneth Murray, and Kenneth Murray just gets cooked, lost in the sauce, lost in the middle, and uh, thankfully, thankfully, Joey Bosa gets a hand on Kirk Cousins and doesn't let him get that touchdown. That's a, that's seven points right there for sure. Joey Bosa completely saved us right there, and that's why you have Joey Bosa on the team, to do stuff like that, to save the game. So, all right, here's the next play, first down. This is Justin Herbert beating out pretty much an all-out blitz. This is what they're trying to do to him. They're trying to mess with him. They're trying to mess with Justin Herbert by sending all of these scary defensive players against him. Look at that. Everyone on the line, everyone's coming. Everyone's coming. And Justin Herbert, you know, it's a good call because Keenan Allen is right here. They're playing off coverage. Justin Herbert already knows. I got to get this ball out. And that's exactly what he does. Hot, hot dump pass. Great play. Now, this is concerning. Hats off to the Vikings defense. They were able to stop us on the goal line right here. Look at this. Third and goal from the one. You need to be able to punch it in. Like, there's no excuses. You really need to just punch it in. Here we go. 
Josh Kelly getting stuffed. And we'll, we'll, we'll show it again. We'll look at the, the offensive lineman right here, right off the first snap. Okay, look at the, the defensive tackle. Just went right in between, I believe, uh, that's Zion Johnson and um, Slater. Just totally blowing this play up. Look at everyone's just getting penetration right here, and it all starts right there. Um, this dude came right by Zion. Look at this right here. Came right by Zion. Just not good blocking. I blame this on the offensive linemen here. Offensive linemen have to do better in this run blocking, especially on the goal line for sure. It's a big reason why we didn't rush the ball that well. Now this is probably the play of the game. Just watch this. We had been setting them up all game with the with the screen passes. Look at Justin Herbert throwing to Keenan Allen, and with the little the little pass over the top, beautiful. Nobody covering, everyone bit. And hats off to Keenan Allen for making this throw. I think that Keenan Allen deserved to throw this pass for sure. As a lifelong Charger, he has you know. Maybe not the legendary status of a Ladanian Tomlinson, but he is very up there. Like in that, he's in the same room, you know, somewhere maybe in the lobby or something like that. But Keen Allen has given his dedication to the Chargers. He deserved to throw this pass, and that was beautiful. I love that. I love that for Keen Allen. He deserved that. All right, here, here is a, just a, a video demonstrating the pass rush that we have. The pass rush was getting after Kirk Cousins all day. Our pass rush has been looking pretty good this season. Just look at how they're coming up. I think they're sending just a four-man rush. Four-man rush. Uh, Khalil Mack coming off the edge. Neiman, he's got energy. Pursuing him. Uh, and Sebastian Joseph Day getting the sack right there. Good job to make Kirk Cousins feel uncomfortable. That's what you want. You want to rattle him. You want to get him off the spot. And then, and then here, this is just a video showing how well the Vikings were able to run the ball. Just look at that. 10 yards a carry, that's going to help your team so much. Let's just watch that again. Watch these offensive linemen just moving everyone. Contact here, contact here. Sealing Khalil Mack inside. Khalil Mack is now ineffective. Look at these guys. Look at, their, look at how far downfield their offensive linemen are. Sealing here, here, just beautiful. That's what Vince Lombardi envisioned, you know. Beautiful run play by the Vikings. I'd really love to be able to do stuff like that. Now here's a second and 15. This is a, a play to Justin Jefferson. We knew that Justin Jefferson was going to get the ball. He was going to hurt us for sure. So here you can see Justin Jefferson running up. And I think he just sits down right in the middle. Kirk Cousins barely gets it off, but he finds him right there. And this is, I believe it's JT Woods just taking a terrible angle. Look at this terrible angle. Got to give it. Got to give it to the Vikings and, and Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson is a maybe the best uh, receiver in the entire NFL. But yeah, hate to see it. Hate to see it, man. So here's another play. Uh, Justin Herbert throwing it to Keenan Allen. Look at this out route. It's very well covered. He's sticky. He's on him. He's only got a step. And look at Justin Herbert is able to throw it so perfectly and just get it right in Keenan Allen's hands. And he still has. You know, he put it on him in such a perfect space that Keenan Allen still had that step on the DB and was able to turn it up. Now here, 3rd and 17. Just look at that. 3rd and 17, we're down. We're down by 3, and we need to continue this drive. 3rd and 17. Justin Herbert with a godly throw. Godly throw to, to Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen just knows what he's doing. He's just finding that open area, and Justin Herbert is just looking for him. And just hits him with a beautiful throw from the back from the end zone angle. Uh, it was much more beautiful. I couldn't find that video though. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep that drive alive. And now here is just watch this play, and then I'll speak on it after. You know, hey, some games you get lucky. Some day, some games you get unlucky. And today we got lucky. That was an interception, and uh, the football gods were like, you know what? We're going to get you all your first win. And uh, just got to say thanks for that. You know, hate to see that against the Vikings. I feel bad for y'all. But, um, yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> we'll take that. Now, this is a beautiful play from our goal line defense. Look how they stopped this. Ke Kenneth Murray. Kenneth Murray showing people that, uh, yeah, he's not a bust. This guy can play some ball. 
coming in there, hitting the gap. I thought for sure that they were going to get in because that's the Chargers don't really have a reputation of being that physical, but dang, they proved me wrong right there, and that was that was gorgeous. Um, and this is our fourth and one. This is to ice the game. I believe in this call. Um, be aggressive. We're up four. Yeah, I believe in this call. You just need to be able to execute better. Watch, we'll go frame by frame. Lyman diving in there, but this guy gets inside Parham, and uh, this this is where the play gets blown up, right here. This is the contact, and right here. Two guys stuffing him. They're stronger. They're just stronger, and um, yeah, just unable to get to punch it over that line. Here is the play of the game, though. Play of the game right here. Final play. Uh, Kirk Cousins, you know, they're all running like little hitch routes. He's going to try and fit in right here in front of Nick Neiman. And look at Nick Neiman. Hats off to Nick Neiman. With, he's like, oh, no, I'm not. It's not going to. We're not going to lose because of me. Hits that ball up. JT Woods, give it to him for the little volleyball set. You know, hit up in there. And Kenneth Murray not messing it up and getting that game winning pick. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so beautiful. So beautiful. Um, cannot express my happiness. Got to win. It was not perfect. We have a lot of issues we need to fix in terms of rush offense, rush defense. It's been going on for years, but you know what? We got that win. It is what it is, yo. So <laughs> I'm going to chug this right here. Cheers. First win of the season. Could not be happier. Team showed heart. Team showed, you know, grit, toughness, goal line stands, you know, beautiful play by Herbert, beautiful game, Herbert to Keenan Allen. Um, yeah, we'll take that. One and two. I think we're still second in the division. A lot of season left to play. And um, yeah, bro, so happy, so happy. Good luck to the Vikings. You guys are better than 0-3. Um, and, yeah, we'll see what happens. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bolt up. Thank you.